Hello friends, welcome to Pies and Tacos. Today we're making salted caramel macarons. This is one of my most popular macaron recipes on the blog. The salted caramel macarons are filled with a salted caramel Swiss meringue buttercream and caramel sauce in the middle. First, we're gonna start by making the salted caramel sauce. So that has a chance to cool down for us to make the Swiss meringue buttercream and fill the macarons later. So we're gonna start by placing sugar in a small saucepan over medium heat. And we're going to stir nonstop to melt the sugar. It's very important that you keep stirring at all times. It's very important that you keep stirring the sugar because we want to make sure that the sugar melts evenly. Otherwise, the sugar will burn and crystallize. So continue to stir the sugar until you see no more sugar pieces in there. And then quickly, immediately, as you see no more sugar pieces in there, you're going to add the heavy cream. Be very careful when doing this because this is what's going to happen. The heavy cream is just going to bubble up like this and you don't wanna get burned. As soon as you add the heavy cream, just continue to stir to incorporate the heavy cream and then add the salts and add the butter. And now we're just going to stir until the butter melts. The trick with making this caramel sauce is to not let it overcook. What I see happen all the time is that people will make the sauce and the sauce will come out hard. And that is because they have overcooked the sauce. Do not overcook the sauce. As soon as the sugar has melted, you add the heavy cream. And as soon as the heavy cream and the butter have been incorporated into the sugar syrup, turn off the heat. Now we're going to sift the almond flour, the powdered sugar, because we're going to start making our macaron shells. So when making the macaron shells, it's very important to just leave all the ingredients ready to go before you start making the shells. So we're going to sift our ingredients, we're going to measure out everything, leave our piping bags ready, and leave our baking trays lined with a silicone mat so they're ready to go. Now we're going to place a bowl over a double boiler with barely simmering water. We're going to add sugar, egg whites, and whisk this mixture until the sugar and the egg whites melt together. Don't overheat this mixture. Only mix until you can touch the syrup with your hands and you feel no more sugar granules in between your fingers. This might take one or two minutes. Remove the syrup from the double boiler and begin to whip with an electric mixer. You can do this with a hand mixer or with your KitchenAid. Begin whipping on low, and for the first minute, gradually increase the speed to medium. Continue to whip the syrup until it becomes a meringue with stiff peaks. You can whip on medium or medium high. The peaks of the meringue should be stiff and shooting straight up, not bent down to the side. This is what they should look like. Now that we have our stiff peaks, we're going to add the dry ingredients to the meringue and we're going to stir with a spatula until the perfect consistency is achieved. We're not going to add any food coloring to this batch, but if you're going to add food coloring, now would be the time. As you can see here, the batter is flowing off the spatula, but it's kind of breaking up too much, so I'm just going to continue to fold a little bit longer. And now this is our perfect consistency. The batter is flowing slowly but effortlessly off the spatula. Now we're going to transfer the batter to a piping bag fitted with a round tip. I use a half an inch diameter piping tip. Mm -hmm. 
And now we're going to pipe the macarons by placing the piping bag directly 90 degrees over the center of a circle template and apply gentle pressure for about 3 seconds and then pull the bag up. After we're done piping the macarons, we're going to tap the trays against the counter to release any air bubbles. And also we're going to use a toothpick to pop any remaining air bubbles from the surface of the macarons. And then we're going to let these macarons rest for 20 to 40 minutes, depends on how humid our kitchen is, until they feel dry to the touch and that's when we can bake them. I bake my macarons at 325 Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. And now we're going to get ready to decorate the shells. I'm melting some chocolate and I'm going to place it on the piping bag. And then I'm going to snip the end of the piping bag with a pair of scissors and I'm going to pipe the chocolate over the shells. Of course, you need to wait for the shells to cool down to do this. After I'm done piping the chocolate, I'm going to do the same with the caramel. I'm going to place some of the cool down caramel in a piping bag, snip the end, and I'm going to pipe over the shells just like this. And for the final touch, I'm going to sprinkle some coarse sea salt on top of the caramel and the chocolate. Now look at this beautiful caramel. This caramel is cooled down, it's been at room temperature for about 2 hours. I'm going to set some aside to make the Swiss meringue buttercream and the rest is going to be used to fill the shells. All right, now let's talk about the butter. This is the consistency of the butter that you need to have in order to make the Swiss meringue buttercream. The butter should not be melty and the butter should also not be cold. So it's good to remove the butter from the fridge about an hour before you start making the Swiss meringue buttercream. Now we're going to place a bowl over a double boiler with barely simmering water, add our sugar, egg whites, and begin to whisk. And this time, unlike when we're making the macaron shells, we actually need to take the temperature of this mixture. We want the syrup to reach 140 Fahrenheit because that's the temperature that the egg whites will be safe to be consumed. So as soon as our syrup reaches 140 Fahrenheit, we're going to remove it from the double boiler. Then immediately begin to whip with a mixer. I like to start whipping on low and then gradually increase the speed to medium high. We're going to whip the meringue until it reaches stiff peaks. It's very important that the meringue reaches stiff peaks here. If you start to add the butter to the meringue before it reaches stiff peaks, your buttercream will not form. It will be way too soupy and runny later. So as soon as your meringue reaches stiff peaks, you can begin to add the butter. Remember that the butter needs to be at room temperature. It should not be warm and it should not be cold. Slowly add the butter and continue to whip. Each time you add a slab of butter, whip until it's incorporated before adding the next one. Continue to do this until all the butter has been added. At this point, if you're done adding the butter and the buttercream is still too soupy, that means that either the butter was too warm or it means that the meringue was not as stiff peaks. If that happens, my recommendation is to put the bowl of buttercream in the fridge for a few minutes and then try to whip it again until it becomes fluffy. Then once the buttercream is fluffy, we're going to add the cool down caramel sauce, 
salt, and vanilla, and whip again until incorporated. And this is our beautiful salted caramel Swiss meringue buttercream. Now we're going to place the buttercream in a piping bag fitted with the tip of choice. And we're going to pipe a ring of buttercream around the edges of the bottom macaron shells. And then we're going to pipe a little bit of the caramel sauce right in the middle. And finally, we can place the top shells on the macarons. Put them in the fridge and let them mature overnight before serving. These are so delicious. You will love them. Head to the blog to read all the raving reviews that people make about these macarons. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because I post recipes like this every week. And I also have over 80 macaron recipes and ideas on my blog, so make sure to check that out. Thank you, bye!